I wasn't gonna do another. Uh, I wasn't gonna do any more questions, any more answers to the questions that I got. But um, I got two more questions, which is twice as much as what I originally started out with. So, so I figured, you know, it it, it would be um, legitimate to make another video. So um, my first question. Uh, that I got was from my friend uh, Astral Jagan 2099 Sean, hey Sean um, he asks 18 pounds of bacon in one sitting is enough to toxify, toxify a person with nitrates but one would die of salt overdose first so how much bacon can I eat without risk of salt overdose I weigh about 150 pounds um, and I, I actually did the research on that, um, and I found out it's approximately 2.7 pounds of bacon. And uh, uh, he also asks, also, is the internet considered addictive, and should it be? Um, is it considered addictive? By some people it is. Um, I don't know if it's considered addictive by the psychological community. Should it be... I don't know. I could take it or leave it, to be quite honest. Um, okay. Next question is from... Totakeke? T-O-T-A-K-E-K-E. -E -E. I don't know how to pronounce that. Um, they ask... Um, what major obstacles did you face in your first relationship with another man or your current partner? Did you ever have to overcome any internal homophobia for years of being told you were going to hell, etc.? Um, I was never really told directly that I was going to hell. Um, but as far as inner homophobia, I don't think I really had that when I first realized that I was gay. It was... It was I've always been comfortable being gay, it's ever since I first realized it. Before I realized it, I was uncomfortable with with the idea of homosexuality. But when I, I realized that I was gay, I was, I was very surprisingly comfortable with it. Which is strange, because the rest of my family is not. Somehow, I got... I got some personality traits from nowhere, apparently. But, yeah, I didn't really have any internalized homophobia. Um, uh, with my first relationship, the biggest obstacle was that uh, uh, he was so much younger than I am, uh, than I was. Um, now the age difference isn't that big a deal, but back then it was, because he was still in high school, and I wasn't. I'd been out of high school for about four years. So that was, that was a little odd. Um, but he was, he was legal, so it was, it was all good in that department. But, but yeah, that's really the only obstacle. Um, any obstacles with my current partner? Not really. Not that I can think of. Our relationship's been pretty good, actually. No real serious obstacles. Even my family is, um, is uh, at least friendly towards him. I mean, they're not, um, they don't consider him necessarily a part of the family, but they, um, they at least acknowledge him as my friend, which is good, I guess. But, uh, but anyway, um, so yeah, those were the two questions that I got, and the, uh, the bacon question was really fun, actually. Um, I learned that, uh, bacon has twice as much salt in it as seawater. So anyway, that's about all I have. This is only about a five minute long video, but that's okay. Um, I'll see you guys later. Adios.